Imagine a time when the plow had yet to pierce the prairie, a time before farms and fences, when great herds roamed the prairie in numbers too great to be counted. When Conrad Fisher looks out over this part of Montana's Northern Cheyenne Reservation, those days don't seem so distant, especially with the words of tribal elders fresh in his mind. When the people lived in the old days, they were very respectful to the earth, the earth, the sky, the stars, the animals. They communicated with all of these environments. On the nearby Crow Reservation, Sarge Oldhorn often thinks of those days, a time before contact with Europeans, when the earth and everything on it commanded both respect and reverence. In our belief, we, those things that are created by God are more powerful because there is something greater than we are, and that is the Creator. Every powwow reaffirms traditions that predate contact with white culture. Here, Jerry and the Cheyenne feel the echoes of a time when wealth was measured by how much could be given away. Even today, a powwow is a place of honor for tribal members and special guests. Indigenous people across North America believe their traditional ways are more than colorful remnants of the past. They are living expressions of respect for each other and for a time they may not remember, but of which they still feel part. On the Northern Cheyenne Reservation, people share a growing belief that celebrating their culture is a key to survival. That by knowing and honoring who they are, they can look to the future with as much pride as they look to the past. My hope for the Cheyenne people is that we can continue to be a sovereign nation, that we can continue to live our own way of life and progress and be able to you know, really flourish.